Hello planner friends, welcome back to Plan With B. So today I'm going to do an unboxing of my newest Moterm Pocket Planner, which I have set off to the side here. But before I dive into that, I just wanted to do a quick announcement on my freebies that I'm doing over on my blog. So if you've already seen my previous video or if you follow me on Instagram or my blog already, you already know about the announcement that I made about my Plan With B freebies that I'm going to be releasing every single Monday for the rest of 2020. In my previous freebie video, I show the group of planner freebies that I've already released over several different days. Today I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of what you guys will be receiving tomorrow, which is Monday, September 14th. 14th. If you haven't already, you're going to want to sign up and be part of the Beehive. You can read my description box below on how to sign up. It is free. You just have to be a subscriber to my blog and I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd also be a subscriber here to my YouTube and follow me on Instagram and then you will receive all of my freebies that have already been released as well as part of the Beehive to receive all the new releases as they come out every single Monday for the rest of this year. I'm not gonna do a video on my freebie releases every single time that I have a new one out. I'm just going to do it after I've accumulated some so that we can just go through, see what they are, and I can show you how you can utilize them in different ways. My planning system is all about functionality and fun. So I always like to include some sort of printable that is functional and helps you get things done and be productive as well as things that are for decor and just fun for in your planner. Tomorrow's release has nine items that you will be receiving and it's a big group of items which is why I am introducing them here in my video today. I went a little overboard and created a bunch because I got so excited <laughs> but there won't always be that many in a release but I'm going to share them with you today. They are some of my favorite ones that I have created so far. First ones that you can see here are two planner cards. I love autumn, as you guys already know. So this one says autumn sunsets and crisp air. And this one says chunky sweater weather. These are really great to just put in your planner for some decoration. But I also wanted to mention these can be used for scrapbooking, in photo albums. You could put them on a bulletin board. You can just put them on your desk at work. It doesn't have to just be in a planner. You can use them how you want to and decorate a little bit for fall. You could even stick like a sticky magnet on the back and put them on your fridge. So there's different ways that you guys can utilize planner cards that I do create. Jumping into my planner here. Just remember blue sticky notes just covering up photos, so that's usually not there, but I'm gonna show you really quick. On the side here, I have two planner cards, and they are a key card and a highlight swatch card. I created these because I typically would do my highlight swatches on a planner insert and then would have to flip to that insert to see what highlight swatch I'd wanna use as well as pen swatches. And same thing with a key card. I would have that on an insert as well and have to flip to that page. So I thought to myself, why don't you make them on a planner card so you can easily pull them out, access them, and reference them while you're planning so you can turn to your pages and look and see what color highlight do I wanna use on today's spread and actually see your highlight swatches so that you can plan if you're doing like a color theme, same thing with your keys. You can look at this and say, okay, what is it that I need to do today and what keys do I have to use? So I just thought that these were very functional and they're great. They fit right into the side pocket of your pocket planner or if you have a larger planner, they can fit right into those clear pockets and you can see them in the front or however you have it set up. Be sure if you're using these to tag me on Instagram at underscore plan with B underscore. I'd love to see your highlight swatch cards and key cards and just see how you guys are using them. It's so much fun. In addition to these, I've created another key card and highlight swatch card in a different form. So if we head to the back of my planner here, you can see I have business card size for highlight swatches so that you can have it right in here. You can see what it is at the top, pull it out, and then reference it. And I thought these were great, especially for smaller planners so that you can have them in a little card slot and they would fit in there perfect and actually have the header sticking out. You can also put them in the clear pockets wherever you want to. And I also have the key card version in this, which I'll show you in a minute. But while I'm in the back of my planner here, another part of the freebie release tomorrow is an updated planner belongs to card. The white sticky notes are just covering up my personal information, but my colors 
that I gravitate to are a lot of neutral colors. I love the tans and like the chocolate colors and grays and white and black blushes. So what I wanted to do was create an updated planner belongs to card and also make it in the business card size because I realized that not everybody has room in their small planners for these larger cards. And the previous one that I made was this size. And I can't show you the other side because there's my info on it. But um, so I wanted to make a prettier one and everything. And I really, really like this a lot. It fits perfect in the card slot. It has the same information planner belongs to and then if lost, please contact. But it fits awesome in here. Jumping back to the front of my planner, I'm going to show you right here is the key card version. I just have it taped to the back of this photograph so that when I open this up, I can see my key card. So I just have that here and that's the business card size. And you can see the difference here in sizes. So it's a little bit taller and slimmer, the business card one. So two different sizes there. And then my favorite part, you guys, are these two deco cards. So you can use these for decoration in your planner. You can use them again, the same way I said about my other planner cards, you can utilize them however you wish. These two are my absolute favorite. They're in my favorite color scheme right now and I'm in love with them. My favorite movie, fun fact, is The Devil Wears Prada. If you have not seen that movie, stop what you're doing and go watch it. You guys can thank me later. It is the best movie ever. I love it. It's just one of those feel-good movies that I know anytime I need a movie to watch, I will love watching that one. I've seen it so many times. So two of my favorite quotes from Miranda in The Devil Wears Prada are, do I smell freesias and florals? for spring groundbreaking. So I just love those in the neutral colors here right in the front of my planner. So when everything is closed and you can actually see the picture, it just looks really pretty. I have the grays and the tans and I'm in love with these two planner cards that I made. And again, they're business card size. So you could put them in a little business card clear pocket. You can just hole punch them in like I did, put them in your card slots, however you wanna use them. So those are the nine freebies that you guys will be receiving again tomorrow which is monday september 14th if you are not yet subscribed to planwithb.com be sure to go to my description box below and head over to my blog subscribe you guys will get all my previous planner freebies as well as the new release tomorrow and all the new releases again that i am doing every single monday for the rest of 2020. so now we are going to head into the unboxing of my newest modern pocket planner okay so here we have my Amazon Prime package. I'm so excited. You guys already know I have a Moterm pocket planner in the light gray, which I love because it's like this taupey color. It has a warm undertone to it. So it has that tannish taupey gray color to it. And it definitely fits like my vibe. And I love this. But I also wanted to get the black because I have owned the black Moterm in other sizes before as well as a bunch of other different Moterm planners. I love the brand. I have been using the brand ever since they came to Amazon uh, a while back. They've been out for quite a while now. And when I saw that they restocked the black pocket size, I jumped on it. I had to get it. So we're gonna do an unboxing for anyone who has not yet had a Moterm planner. I'm just gonna go through why I love them so much and the great quality of them. Okay, so I have not opened this yet. I just cut open the top so I can easily get it out. So they always come packaged like this with the clear wrap and in a box. It has their scan bar code and this little sticker is always on it for um, a review. Go ahead and open this. I'm so excited guys. Isn't opening like a new planner so exciting all the time? Okay, I am the worst with opening boxes so I just had to get that open really quick. So we're going to dump out the box inside and we're going to open it up all right so the Motrum planners always come in this as well a little velvety dust bag which I appreciate so much because if you guys are not using old planners you can always store them back in it so they don't get ruined we're gonna untie it so excited all right so here it is the black pocket size ring bound Moterm planner. It feels so nice. It's so like squishy and soft. 
but at the same time, like there's structure to it. And it also comes with the fly leaf. It's a leather fly leaf. It comes in every single one of the ring bound planners. So you can see this side is just plain, it's just leather, and the back side has three more card slots on it. And it's perfect for if you're using this for a wallet or if you just need more card slots. And I think it just gives this a more luxurious feel having that leather fly leaf. I currently do not have my leather fly leaf in my light gray one, but I do have it. It's stored in with my planner inserts at the moment. And when you open it up, it comes with inserts already. Nice rings. I love that the rings are silver. It's just more of what I enjoy. And I like the silver with the neutral colors that I always like to use. It does have the little Moterm tag right here. My gray one does not have that, as you can see. That was one of the updated features that they did on their newer releases when they restocked. It has a pen loop right here and their pen loops are pretty large. So you can see if I put like a mild liner in it, it fits pretty good in there, but there is still that little bit of excess room right there. And then it comes with a bunch of inserts. They're all the same. It's just this day on one page, pretty much. You can circle what day it is and write the date and just have memos and actually do use them. But for like scrap paper, I keep like two pieces in my planner at a time for when I need to just jot down notes that I know are just for reference and they're going to get thrown away or something. So I just like to keep a couple of those in my planner. But for the most part, I just store these in with my inserts. Has the zipper over here on the side for the little pouch and it's lined in a dark dark brown all of the moturn planners have the same lining inside at least all the ring bound ones that i have had and one thing that i love is that they put the little leather tab right here which i really appreciate because it helps protect your zipper and it also helps protect your inserts from the zipper it also has a pocket right here and again, it's lined in here, but the leather goes in deeper, so you can't see that until you actually open it far enough. In the back here, you have more card slots, four of them. So in addition to the three on here, you have seven total card slots. And then another pocket on the back here. And then one of my favorite parts about the Moterm planners is that they provide a back pocket. So here you have a large back pocket, great for money, great for doing the cash envelope system or you know, however you're using this for larger papers. I really appreciate that and I love that the pocket size has that because in pocket size your inserts are pretty small so it's great to be able to put in, you know, if you get a paper from the doctor or from your kid's school and you could fold it and put it in the back there and it fits or if you're using this as a wallet you can put money in there and coupons and things like that. So I really appreciate the back pocket and I love that. Okay, so now I just want to talk about the quality of these planners. So the ring mechanism is really nice. There's no spacing through here. You can see they close really nice. You can open them, close them up. They lock up tight, really nice rings. And the planner itself, this leather is just amazing, you guys. Like it's so soft and supple. You can see the texture on it. It's really well made. And these planners are so affordable. Like these look like to me, the Gilio planners and Vanderspeck and all those really expensive, luxurious, high price planners. So I absolutely love this brand for making a luxurious looking planner for an affordable price. I love the snap closure. And I like that this is a wide leather piece here. I think that that is a really pretty look. I don't really like when they're super thin. I think it looks more expensive and more luxurious when they are wider like this. And I love how it has the straight corners here instead of the rounded corners. Again, that to me also just looks more luxurious. It's just a personal preference. It's just my style and what I like. I, I do like the rounded corners as well, like on the Filofax ones, but I just prefer these ones more. Overall, I think the brand Moterm has really nice quality planners at such a great price. I do know that the brand Moterm was on AliExpress and still is. I had never shopped from AliExpress before, so I can't say how long that they have been on there, but they have been on Amazon for a while now, and when they first came to Amazon, I spotted them because I was always looking up planner stuff and 
I had gotten my first Moterm, which was a Croco personal size in the tan, and I loved that. But then I stopped using personal size, so I ended up getting rid of it. But they do have other textures. They have the Croco as well. So be sure to check them out. They're on Amazon. I'll link them down below. They do sell fast. At the affordable prices that they have, they sell very fast. So they just restocked more colors. So if you're interested in one, I'll link the pocket size down below, but they have other sizes as well. So go check them out on Amazon. What I'm gonna do is just take all of my stuff from in my light gray pocket and just pop it into the black pocket so you guys can see how it looks. All right, so I just filled up the black Moterm planner. So we're just gonna open it up and look inside and I love it, it looks great. I love the black leather that Moderm uses. It's almost like a charcoal black, like it's not jet jet black to me, it's almost like a super dark, dark charcoal, but it is black. I'm not saying that it's not black, but sometimes you get other planners and they are jet black, but this one has a little bit of like a sheen to it and it almost has like a charcoal undertone to it, if that makes any sense to you guys but I really like this. It fits my stuff in here great, just like my other one did. I have filled all my inserts in here and my dividers, my pen, the back pockets, the card slots, everything's in here and I'm loving it. I don't know which one I'm going to stick with for my everyday carry um, because I do love my light gray so much. Um, this color is just amazing because it has that taupey warm undertone. So one of these I am gonna use as like an extension planner while the other one is gonna be my everyday carry and I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. But if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure that you guys will see. And I showed you guys before my planning system that I use Evernote and like my filing system for kind of like my extension planner. I used to use a different Moterm for my extension planner before and stopped doing that, but I'm thinking about going back to using a pocket size extension planner because then I can put my inserts from extension planner to everyday carry planner and back and forth so that as things are relevant for that week or day, I have them, but then I can put them back into the other planner for reference for later. So I'm probably gonna do something like that and I will certainly have a video on it once I get that set up. If you guys haven't already, you can check out my DIY on how I create these transparent clear dividers that I use in my planner, which are very durable, but very thin, so you can fit a lot of stuff. Do check out my blog, the link in my description to sign up for all the freebies that you saw today and previous freebies and a lot more to come. I have a lot of ideas in store. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at underscore plan with B underscore and be sure to tag me if you're using any of my freebies so I can see how you're using them and I just love to check out how you guys are creating things with that. Hope you all enjoyed this video and if you're interested in a Moterm planner, do not hesitate. Go check them out now. They just restocked recently and they're not going to stay there long. They sell very fast. So they're great quality. I love them. I don't have anything bad to say about Moterm planners. I've had so many of them in so many different sizes, textures, colors, and I've loved them all. So be sure to check them out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye everybody.